Tonight's lecture will focus on the paranormal in other cultures. One of the richest and most sophisticated networks of demonology and superstition is found in the ancient Aztec culture. The Aztecs assigned religious significance to the stars. They believed that four of the heavenly bodies fell from grace with the divine forces and descended to earth as demons. Three of the demons embodied the destructive forces of nature, fire, water, and wind. And the fourth, known as Destacatl, was believed to control the dark side of the human soul. This is the only idol in existence today which is still believed to have true power. It looks like a Mexican salt shaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny, Mr. Hopkins. As a matter of fact, your reaction is common among the ignorant. I guess uh, Des Tecatl forgot to pay his electric bill, huh? be all for tonight. You are dismissed. Hello, Matthew. Hello, Francis. I was wondering how long it would take you to find me. I must admit I admire your tenacity. Did you think I'd just give up? No. Frankly, I expected you much sooner. I saw what happened to your student. I see it's already gotten the better of you. That's where you're wrong, Francis. You see, I found a way to control it. Don't be a fool, Matthew. The research showed you. I've gone further than our research. I know it is possible. You've gone too far. You can't control it. Get out. It's too late for you.
¿Cuánto falta para llegar, señor? Ay, ay. Aquí no hay nada sino desierto. El siguiente pueblo está a 200 kilómetros. Vámonos. Quiero que me recoja aquí, mañana en la mañana. Al amanecer. ¿Mañana? No creo que estará vivo mañana. Mañana le pagaré más. Adiós. Siéntese, por favor. Gracias por su hospitalidad. Jorge, trae la caja. Ha viajado una gran distancia. Es mucha su insistencia para alguien que solo desea ver. Si su historia bien. Conocer... Su historia es lo que lo hace más peligroso. Por eso el niño me lo cuida. Siempre lo esconde en un lugar que solo él sabe. Él no sabe de la tentación. Él todavía es un inocente. Bueno, te malo. Desde Catil. Es verdad. Uno siente su poder. Sí, su tentación atrae. Ese es el secreto de su mal. Págale cualquier cosa. El ídolo no está en venta. Lo sabía cuando vino. Puedo pagar, solico. Regréselo a la caja. Ya vio usted lo que vino a ver. Jorge. Respeto los poderes de que habla. Tiene usted razón. Estoy seguro de que es mejor así. Mi chofer me recogerá al amanecer. Es usted bienvenido. 
Hay cuarto preparado para usted. Night. No way, Julie. I've got track practice in the morning. You promised. Matt's gonna do it. You're really gonna do it, Matt? You're not afraid? Well, I don't know. You said you'd go. I did not. I said it go if Tommy goes. You really wanna do this, Julie? It's not too late to back out. It's all set. There's even a full moon tonight. <laughs> Ow. Don't forget the good luck charm. H-I-R, Los Angeles. I'm Chad Perry. It's a cool Thursday night, and we're in the middle of a... Tommy, did you finish doing your homework? I'm on the last chapter, Mom. Do you want to ride to school tomorrow? I'm going to ride my bike. Control Center Dad, uh, Satellite Tommy. Satellite Tommy? I've got two tickets to the Lakers game Saturday, so we're all set. Sure, that sounds great, Dad. Don't forget to take the trash out in the morning. I won't forget. This is really dumb. Shh. It's not much farther. What's wrong with right here, Julie? No, there's a better place. Matt, what do you do with your flashlight? I broke it. Oh, great. I'm Come sorry. Come on.
What is this place? Looks like they make tombstones here. Oh my god. So you know somebody who works here? Huh? You told me you knew somebody who works here. Oh, I just made that up, Matt. I knew you wouldn't come otherwise. Julie! Tommy, light the candle. This locket is to protect us from any evil that we may encounter. It was given to me by my great-grandmother. Matt, what did you bring? Matt! Won't this work? Suppose it will. As long as you believe it will work. I believe it. Tommy, what about you? My parents brought it back from the trip. It's, uh, it's supposed to bring good luck. We're here to communicate with the spirit world. We have to start with the pointer in the middle of the board. Now let me ask the questions and don't take your hands off the pointer no matter what happens. We'd like to communicate with anyone that will communicate with us. What are we supposed to do now? Shh. Sometimes it takes a long time. You moved it. No. It's a spirit. We feel a presence here. Make yourself known. There's a force in this room. That must be a sign. Do you have a message for anyone here? Let's get out of here. No, let's try again. Julia said go. It wants us to go away. No, it wants us to keep going. It's getting late. My parents are going to notice I'm gone. Yeah, I got to get going, too. Come on, Julia. <laughs> let's get out of here. I don't know who's in here, but you better get the hell out. This is private property. Anybody down here? I heard you. Now come on out of there.
woman is mowing her lawn. She's attacked by a bunch of bees. Now, did she say how many? Doesn't say. All right, so she must have walked into a hive or something. I mean, she's not going to call the paper for a few bees, right? Right. All right, now, how many bees in a hive? Hundreds, thousands, maybe? Sure. Okay, so a uh, woman attacked by legions of killer bees. Legions of killer bees. That's the story. Sandy, you got a minute? Sure, Roxanne, what do you need? I don't know what to do with this bee story. What bee story? This woman was attacked by a bunch of bees. Okay, how many bees? Marty said to say a thousand. Were there really a thousand bees? I don't think so. Okay, remember I told you you should always check the facts before you go any further. Although around here that's not a very popular point of view. The prince is in. Oh, great. Did you get a chance to talk to him? Just for a second. I didn't get very far. Well, wait a minute. Here's the rat boy story. That looks great. Thanks. Uh -huh. Hey, what time is Mr. Prince's party on Sunday? Uh, we're supposed to be there around 3 o'clock. Is Bernie coming with you? Bernie's history. Well, that was fast. <laughs> Not fast enough. Hey, listen, I have a friend in from out of town who'll be there. You should meet him. Okay. Sandy. Sherry. Hello. Hey, hi. <laughs> God, it's good to see you. Oh, it's great to see you too, Jim. Hey, look at this place. I thought you were a starving writer. Oh, thanks. Hey, look, I cleaned out that closet for you. You can put okay. all your stuff in there. Okay. Um, can I get you a cup of coffee or something? Oh, sure. Great. Uh, what, you got a beer? Oh, yeah, you got okay. it. Okay. Hey, I got something for you. It's from the Radcliffe Banner. But journalism is more than the sex lives of celebrities and the scandals of the jet set. Journalism is the pursuit of truth. Well, I brought it to try and rekindle inspiration. Oh, I forgot. I gotta give my dad a call. I'll tell him that we'll see him after lunch, okay? Uh, can we make it a long lunch? So, I wanted to get away from the books, away from the four walls, so that we could open our minds up. Now, we have a few minutes left, so is there anything anyone would like to talk about? Isn't there anybody that has anything they'd like to talk about? Yes, Julie. What do you know about the supernatural? What do you mean by the supernatural? You know, spirits communicating with the other side. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Now, Julie asked a serious question, and I think it's important that we deal with it. There are quite a few people who believe in the supernatural. I don't happen to be one of them, but... Mrs. Lawrence, isn't it impossible to accurately document cases dealing with the supernatural? Are people who put their faith in these things in effect making up for imbalances in their life? Well, Mark, that, that may be coming on a little bit strong, but I see your point. Oh, now listen, listen, don't forget, we have a quiz tomorrow. Hey, Julie, you don't seem to be in good spirits today. Come on, knock it off, <laughs> Rick. Clone head. What'd you say, punk? Nothing. I didn't say anything. They're the ones that don't understand. Julie, maybe they're right. I mean, what proof do we have? We felt it. Didn't we? Anyway, if I have to write one more story about talking dogs or UFOs, I think I'm gonna go crazy. I'll tell you what you should do. Come with me to Europe. Just quit. Boom. We'll be in London this weekend. <laughs> well, I wish it was that easy. I mean, I can't just take off and go. I have too many things going on here. That's not the real reason now, is it? It is, really. I can't. How come you never answered that letter? Which one? The one that was on your desk. I didn't know how to answer. I'm sorry. I didn't want to make you feel uncomfortable. I, I was going to call. Look, we've known each other a long time. 
And we were friends first. And that's the most important thing. Right, Jerry, that is the most important thing. I was hoping you wouldn't agree. <sighs> Jerry, I... Yeah, no, it's, um, it's a mistake. Uh, we both agreed it was a mistake. It's just one of those things. One of the people likes the other more than, you know, whatever. Um, let's get out of here, okay? Okay. Ready to see my dad? Does he still think I'm the one who was stealing his mail? No, but he has a million other reasons why he doesn't like you. <laughs> Sounds like Jerry's got great plans, doesn't it, Dad? Yeah, Jerry's got lots of plans. Yeah, speaking of which, I think I better get going. Are you sure you don't want to ride? I think I'll just take the bus. Oh, you can catch it right down the street. Okay, thanks, Mr. McKenna. I'll see you later, Sandy. Okay. Um, I'll try and stop by before I leave. Bye. I can hardly wait. Get in seven shots, and he warms up. The Sixers are in trouble. It's 67 to 61. Cheeks looks in. Jones gives out the Phantom, dribbled right down the middle, shoots a frozen rope from eight, no good, the rebound is off, Caldwell Jones has got it, fine play by Caldwell, it's 11, now at the baseline to Cheeks, Cheeks out of West Texas State, looks for Phantom, posting up on Wilk, they give it to Phantom, he's going to turn and shoot, he does turn and shoot, he scores, there's an offensive foul, no basket. Oh, that was a mighty fine move by Phantom, he must have used that left arm on Kareem in order to get that shot off, and that's exactly what he did, after he put Wilk in the popcorn machine. 67 to 61, the Lakers lead it. Magic coming to the front court. Magic in the throw pack encounter here between the East and the West. Magic down the middle. Magic turns. 10 foot jump row too short. Rebound is off. Kareem has got it on the accidentally from Magic. Kareem to the dribble. In low to Magic. Kareem's all wound up. Magic hook shot at six. It's no good. He makes that this way. Six low. to believe. Are you sure you weren't dreaming? I wasn't dreaming, Matt. What'd you do with it? I hid it. Are you all right? I think so. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. What'd you want to tell us, Julie? I didn't want to talk to you guys about this on the phone. I picked this up tonight. What is it? I'm not going to believe this. Page two. Yeah, this is Sandy McKenna's. Is Sandy here? No, she's not in right now. Can I take a message? Yes, I was calling about a story that you saw witness. Uh, 
Yeah, wait a minute, just a minute. Um, yeah, slow down, slow down. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, I, I know that article. I know the, the one on page two. Right. Okay, it was the three of you. Wait, wait, you were there when this happened? We were there right before, and we'd really like to talk to Sandy about Okay, yeah, I'm sure Sandy would be very interested in this. Okay, why don't, why don't you give me some details? We went there with Luigi. Really? Yeah. You see... Jerry, it's Sunday. It'll just take a few minutes. I mean, look, I thought you might be interested, you know, like a follow-up story. Do you know how many people come to me with stories just like this? No, this is different. I mean, they sounded really legitimate to me. Right. Little trinkets that kill people. I mean, how legitimate does that sound? I don't know. This is your business. I'm just trying to help. Five minutes. That's it. We have to get back and get ready for the party. I told Roxanne you were handsome, so you'll need plenty of time to get ready. These are the people I was telling you about. Um, it's Julie, Tommy, and Matt. This Hi. is Sandy McKenna. Nice to meet you. Why don't you have a seat? Thank you very much for taking the time to talk to us. We really didn't want to go to the police. We wanted to see you first. This is an amazing story. Like I told you before, they were there the night the guard was killed. You want me to cover your story for the eyewitness? No. We don't want it in the paper. Well, then I really don't understand how I can help you. We read the eyewitness every week, and we always make it a point to read your stories. And you say that you talk to experts all the time about things like this. But you weren't actually there when it happened, were you? We were there right before it happened. But we do know what caused it. Right. It was um, some kind of jewelry or something? No, it was an idol. Did you bring it with you, Julie? Sure, I'll go get it. Okay, now, one of you had some kind of experience at your house. Why don't you tell me about it? This is really going to sound strange. But like I was telling Jerry, uh, I was in my room and I had that thing with me. And it started acting like a magnet. Um, excuse me. Make sure you tell her the part about the speaker, okay? <laughs> the things were attracted to it. I mean, things were sticking to it. So that's it, huh? You think Santa will help us? Oh, yeah, I do. We talked about it before you guys came over, and she is really receptive to the idea. And the problem is, she's a little busy right now. So we decided that I'd take care of the basic groundwork. I've already got some ideas. Well, whatever you think is best. Okay, um, can I take a look at it? Right now, let's just keep this between you and me, okay? Yeah, all right. Okay. Well, it sounds like you've all had an incredible experience. But see, the paper doesn't really have any connections with experts. I really appreciate you bringing all of this to my attention, but I just don't see how I can help you. It's all right, we understand. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So what do you think? It's about what I expected. Look, I've heard the same kind of thing in a million different ways. They're nice kids, Jerry. Maybe they just want some attention. So nothing, huh? We're going to be late for the party. Why don't you get the car? Okay. I'll meet you out front. Come on.
That is fascinating. I would love to do a story about it. No, we don't want it in the paper. Oh, hi, Sandy. Um, what we want to do is just get to the bottom of this thing, find out exactly what it is. I understand. Jerry, what are you doing with that thing? I'm just telling Roxanne the story. I thought I made myself clear, Jerry. I don't want to have anything to do with that. I haven't asked you to. I know what kind of skeptic you are. Uh, listen, I see somebody I know. I'll see you tomorrow night, okay? Yeah, okay. All right. How'd you wind up with that? Well, the kid gave it to me. I told her I'd look into it for her. Cherry, I think this is the biggest waste of time. You're getting yourself... It's okay. It's my time. Fine. Do whatever you want, Cherry. Something came up here. Look, I'm the one who wanted to go in the first place. It's just something came up here, I gotta follow it through. No, no, it's, it's too involved to go into over the phone. Look, it's nothing like that. It's just, see, I found this thing, and it's this, this relic or something that these kids ran into it. I don't know what it's worth, Gary. I don't care. I've been reading about this thing. I think I'm really onto something. Look, I gotta go now, okay? I'll tell you about the whole thing when I get to London, all right? Yeah. Okay, bye. Uh, Sandy, this is Ron. I'm still waiting for material for page two tomorrow. I don't care what it is. Make something up if you have to. But I want it on my desk first thing in the morning.
Are you all right? Did, did you see anybody on your way up here? No. Somebody must have broke... Everything in here is still locked. Where were you when all this happened? I was in bed asleep. I, well, I, I thought I heard something, so I got up. At first, I thought it was you. You didn't see anything? I told you I was asleep. I had this horrible nightmare. How do you think they got in? I don't know, Jerry. I, I don't know. I guess I have to call the police. You know, they told me when I moved into this place that this was a safe neighborhood. I think I'm gonna have to call my insurance company tomorrow. I don't think your insurance will cover this. <laughs> Nobody broke in here. <laughs> what? Nobody broke in. I mean, your purse, there's still money in it. There's a fork stuck in the wall and your phone machine is melted. Nobody broke in here. Right, Jerry, what do you think? I, I just decided to go berserk in my own apartment? Jerry. Jerry, what are you looking for? What's that kid's number? Who? Julie. What's her name? Jerry, just stop, okay? Would you please just stop trying to play detective and maybe give me a hand here? I mean, what do you think, that the girl had something to do with this? Yeah, I do. Look, don't you think it's a coincidence? Just a little weird. Okay, the kid comes to you with this thing. After his room comes apart. Now it's here, and look at this place. This is no burglary. Nobody broke in here. I've had it with you, Jerry. I mean it. I'm just so sick of your bullshit. Now you're, you're seeing ghosts everywhere and talking about that stupid clay thing. Jerry, this is exactly why things never worked out between us. Sandy, Mr. Prince wants to see you in his office right away. Thanks, Rob. Sandy, I'm glad you're here. What's going on here? Go ahead, Marty. <coughs> Beautiful young reporter. Is true. Eyewitness to ancient curse. Ravishing reporter is naked in shower as Midnight Phantom wreaks havoc. Needs a little work. What do you think? It wasn't a burglary. That's not the point. You embarrassed me. It goes beyond embarrassment. You made a fool out of me in there. It wouldn't have happened if you had helped me in the first place. I told you in the beginning that I didn't want to get involved. You knew how I felt about it. You know, I remember a time when Sandy McKenna would have jumped at a story like this. Not like this, Jerry. Believe me, I've chased down too many crackpot stories to get excited about this one. Yeah, and I think that's your problem. You've become so close-minded, you won't give anything half a chance. Boy, this thing has really become an obsession with you, Jer. You know, I remember a few times when your open mind got you into trouble, and this is the same thing. It's just another dead end for you to waste your time on, and that's fine. But leave me out of it. I have more important things to do.
it's Julie. Is this Jerry? Listen, I found something out about the idol. Do you have it? No, that's why I called. We have to get rid of it. It says here it works its power through the people that have it. We have to tell the others. Jerry, are you there? Did you hear what I said? Jerry, hello? Desicado. Oh, you must be very old. You must know everything. I wonder where your power comes from. Do you have any real power? They're all afraid, except me. But I've never seen your power. Show me. Knock it off the desk. Take this. Anything. Look, you took this room apart. Put it back the way it was. And maybe it's true. Maybe you can't do anything by yourself. It's too late. We have to. Julie, why can't I wait till the morning? Fine. If you don't want to, then I'll go by myself. Oh, come on. Jerry. 
I guess I'm early. Are you ready yet? I tried to call you, but I guess no one was home. Oh, my God. What happened here? You guys had a party without me, didn't you? What happened to your hand? Are you all right? You better let me take care of that. This place is a mess. Did you bring your car? Yeah, we'll take my car. Where are the keys? What? Let me take care of your hand first. Where are the car keys? I'll be there in a second. Give me the keys. What do you want my keys for? I gotta have your car. Jerry, I'm sorry, but nobody drives my car but me. Give me your goddamn car keys. Jerry, your car is my hand. Jerry, what are you doing? Jerry, don't! No! Uh, <laughs> Hello, Prince Eyewitness. Hello? Dad? Dad? It says she's at her father's house. Well, she's probably got the address in here. Should we go in here? No, we can't let go. Dad? Sandy. Jerry, what are you doing here? What happened to my father? Is he here? I'm glad you're here. Why? What, what's happened? Jerry, what is going on? Everything's all right now. Don't want you to be alarmed. They took your father away about 20 minutes ago. What happened? The ambulance. He was having trouble breathing. Where did they take him? 
The nearest hospital was full. They didn't know where they'd take him. They said they'd call when they knew. Oh, my God. Oh, he called me at work. I, I just rushed right over here. I tried to call you at work. Jerry, what are you doing here? You should have taken better care of him. He was all alone here. What? Since your mom died, things have been tough on him. He was telling me all about it. Jerry, I don't know what your problem is. You're all he had. If you had your way, he'd be dead by now. Yes, I need the paramedics, please. This is an emergency. Um, Santa Monica? Yeah, this is uh, 7735 Birmingham Road. Look, please hurry. I just need some information. Hello? 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 Sandy, I lied. I'm leaving. Sandy! Help me. I've never been so confused. I... I'm sorry. I've lost control. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. I'm scared. Please don't leave me. I mean, don't make me face this thing alone. I need you now more than I ever have. I found something. And it's, it's strange. And it's powerful. And it's real. And you don't understand just how real it is. You don't have any idea. Do you want to see? I'll show you. It doesn't hurt. See, this gives me power. And you wanted to take it away from me. Jerry. I, I want to help you. I'm your friend. Let me see it, Jerry. Me. Your father, go look in your bedroom.
Andy McKenna? Sandy? What are you doing here? Jerry. We were looking for Sandy. Sandy. She's back in her bedroom. She's not feeling well. I think you better leave. No, ma'am, it's gonna be too late. We gotta go back and get Julie. We're trying to get help. There's nothing else we could do. It's gonna be too late. Come on. Look! Look! Oh, oh, help, help us! Help us! Get me back. Help us, sir! Get help us! Please, help us! Sir! Please! Help! 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 Matt, let me open this window. What are we gonna do when we get in there? Just shut up, we gotta find Julie and get her out of here. You want the idol? You can't have it. I came here to tell you what I found out. I know what you found out, and that's why you came here to get it. Sandy tried to take this away from me. She thinks I'm going insane. Stupid bitch. Where's Sandy now? Doesn't matter. Don't you understand? I have the power now. And there's nothing anyone can do to take it away. You're afraid, aren't you? Aren't you? You think you understand this thing. You don't. You don't have a clue. I know what you're thinking. You want the power, but you're afraid. You think it's evil. Well, that's the only power in this world. And only those people who can control that power can avoid being destroyed by it. What are you going to do now? The power needed someone like me. Someone to control it. I control the power now. Please let me go. <laughs> I can't do that. Come on. Here, I got a match. Oh!
window. Lock the door or something. I didn't mean to frighten you. I'm sorry, the library's closed. I know. I'm Francis Lott. I've tried to see you. You're Julie Robinson? Yes. I wanted to talk to you about something. You've mentioned quite a bit Sandy McKenna's book. My name's not in that book. <laughs> I know. It's been very hard locating you. What do you want? Could I talk to you 
about some experiences you've had. Things that are in here. I'm sorry, the library's closed. I have to lock up. I, too, have had many experiences. I still bear the mark of my encounter with Desta Catil. There are many things I want to tell you about, things I think would interest you. There must be more to your story, too. Maybe we could talk. Look, Mr. Lott, everything that happened to me is in that book. There's nothing more I can tell you. But the power can never be destroyed. I think you know that. Miss Robinson, I'm sorry I upset you. I think I know what you've been through. Miss Robinson, please, don't cry. <laughs> 